Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 commentary with EXO and today I thought I'd do a best of three between Pain User and Cats. Now these two North American players, quite both of them quite uh, quite good players, um, some of the top players in the North American ladder and um, I'm not exactly sure if this is a best of three and where this match is from I mean, where these three replays are from, but it doesn't really matter now, does it? As long as you get to see a good game and an enjoyable game. So, yeah. Uh, pain user, you might know pain user. Some of you who watch uh, HD's videos, I guess you're familiar with HD StarCraft. Uh, yep, so uh, one of his best friends, and um, I'm pretty sure you've seen quite a lot of games cast with him. And Katz, uh, another player that's been around uh, MLG tournaments and stuff, uh, did some nice things and it, it had some nice results in MLG1 I think if I remember right anyway uh, we're, it's gonna be Zerg versus Terran on Lost Temple and um, quite interested to see how Pain User is gonna handle this uh, this uh, oh, match over here and if he's going to choose to harass this uh, natural expansion with a Thor or a tank or uh, yep basically uh, just drop off this ledge over here it's uh, I mean, this strategy has been smoked so much, and uh, I'm actually looking forward. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking forward because I haven't actually said it, but I'm looking to Blizzard to maybe get a fix around uh, for this. Maybe just move this ledge off. I, I agree with the tank being able to shoot to attack the hatchery, but I'm not sure I agree with the Thor being able to do that. So maybe you should just cut this ledge off a little bit. Uh, and of course, all the corresponding ledges like here and uh, down down at the bottom positions as well but um there's going to be this replay by the way this replay is really recent so uh i mean uh, it's um really new it's you can't really say really recent it's recent um so uh it's after the reaper nitro pack uh you know uh nerf to uh the research time because you now need a factory to get it um and we see pain user actually not getting a reaper which he probably would and would do in the previous patch but uh whoops and this is a bunker okay so he's gonna try some contain perhaps i don't know if this is strictly to actually it's quite smart it might be just um i don't think it's a contain he'd build it further up the ramp further closer to the ramp it's just to prevent a natural expansion and it's because you can actually salvage this bunker so you can actually wait until those drones are poking away or zerglings whatever in this case until they're poking away and it's almost dead then salvage it and um, get the full refund. That's what's great about Terran buildings being able to get salvaged. I mean, bunkers being able to to get salvaged. Um, one barrack so far only. A factory going up. Still just on one gas. And cats really droning hard, getting double gas. This is really unusual. I mean, um, this is clearly a mutilisk opening or perhaps a roach baneling combination. Now that roaches are better and they have the range increase, then you can probably go for roach baneling. Uh, and you obviously need the gas. I mean, you need the gas for the banelings and the uh, and the roaches. And there we have the zerglings trying to take down this uh, bunker, which is going to eventually get salvaged, most likely. And um, Queen is moving out, and I'm not sure what he wants to do. Try to deal with this scouting SCV over here. Let's see if Pain User can get the information he needs. He can easily see these two extractors. So uh, anyway, this this could also mean Mutalisk. It's a pretty early layer, no Roach Warren, so this could be just a hardcore Mutalisk. Uh, uh, build here from cats and um, since yeah since there is no bailing bust I mean no uh, no bailing uh, nest <laughs> or a, uh, roach war and then I guess mutalisk are the next next uh, next possible thing on the list so uh, pain user is getting another barracks and an engineering base so upgrades incoming for his units and uh, these helians and these marines are quite good position to ward off any kind of zerglings that are trying to come close to uh, to his base and command center is almost done as well and the spire is going up indeed let's see where the spire is he must have put it somewhere else yep indeed so lots of people like I said I said this I think in the previous games I cast a few previous games lots of people choose to put their spire close to their ramp it's like the most un unlikely position what the hell was that Okay, I uh, anyway, it was it's like the most unlikely position that you will find your spire at, and I'm not exactly sure why he canceled it. I think he really doesn't want pain user to find it or butter something, 
because he's now getting this pine crawler, and I think he's responding this way because of these helians. And uh, yeah, I, I can see where he's going with this getting the infestation pit as well. Um, sees a lot of marines. There is no armory up, and no add-on tech lab over here, so no Thor's yet. And another spine crawler, and the spire was cancelled. And what is the tech route that he's going to take now? He's taking a hatchery. I won't accept that that uh, spire was a mistake. Um, it was a misclick. I really don't think so. So he's getting this fast expand. He's getting these spine crawlers on the ledge where they're safer from enemy fire. And he's probably going to get some, or he's going to move them down here eventually, or something like that. But I'm not exactly sure. I like offering you guys insights on the game, not just being Captain Obvious, like, you know, I'm not gonna say anything, but for most of you who've been watching GSL lately, well, yeah, there's a certain person there who is directly related, I think, uh, blood relative to Captain Obvious, so I don't want to really do that. I like uh, offering you guys uh, optional, you know, possible tech paths that the players are taking, but right now I can't really see this one, and uh, he has to be careful with the... Uh, Yep, yeah, actually the creep is still going on over there. It's, um, you know, the Zerg buildings die off slowly if they run out of creep. So, oh, 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 and good reflexes there. Moving the drones back, seeing those, uh, seeing those, um, Ipin Barrow has been researched. I didn't catch on that one. Um, but the uh, production tab is always up there for you guys to check. And um, I was going to check a little bit on the harvester count. Um, so, actually, pain user being ahead. Uh, planting some turrets here in case Mutal is harassed. He's ready for this, I think. But there's still no spire going down, and the scan going down inside uh, Katz's base, Katz's main, and still no spire up. And I'm not exactly sure is he going to what is he going to get? Really, Katz doesn't have that. He has these infest. Oh, and I, I really didn't catch this one. He borrowed. He was borrowing and got a great fungal growth over there. And I think he might try getting another one here. And wow, he killed a lot of marines there. And uh, oops, barring again, but turrets, and he loses those investors. I'm not sure if it. Actually, I think it was worth it killing off all these units at the ramp here, and uh, a bunch of SCVs over there. But he lost four investors. I I'm not exactly. Sure. If is he going for some sort of all inish investor build? That is really unusual. He needs to stop. He needs to uh, stop. Uh, making all these uh, zerglings, you need to take out of these zerglings because um, really all these humans are really just you can't really do anything against them. Anyway, Infestor coming here over again and no medivacs and the fungal growth does get off there. And these marines don't have combat shield and they're almost dead and there we go. Um, I wonder if he's going to try making another fungal growth go down over here. I'm not actually sure. Um, there we go, and the Helians are coming to try and roast some drones over here at the natural mineral line, and the Zerglings really aren't matching, uh, aren't holding up to the Helians. Although, let's see, yep, he did fungal growth. That's a really good fungal growth, especially in range of the, uh, <laughs> of the spine crawler. Yep, thumbs up, thumbs up to, uh, to cats for that one, but I still would like him to get something else other than all these investors. And there we go, we have an, a Roach Warden coming up, and, uh... Yeah, roaches are quite good, especially against all these marines. Not many marauders, just a few 